There's a litmus test for if you can save them. Ask any of your trumpet people in your life watching the Peter Stroke hearing. Ask them if they, if they thought that that was a good use of taxpayer money. Or was it a clown show? Dies in the house on Least Coast Radio. Hey yo, who's in the house? Dies in your house. What goes on, peeps? What is the word? It is Friday. It is sometime during the day that I have not decided when I will post this yet. It is being recorded pre noon, Friday, July 13th. We are here on Least Coast Radio with a brand new action packed edition of dies in your house okay you want to talk about disasters I mean I don't know where to go first well first first let me tell you about patreon have you heard there is a patreon page for least coast radio now I don't know if I'm pronouncing patreon right I might be saying it like like the Brits do because so many of my YouTube favorites are from Britain, and that's how they pronounce it. It might be Patron, <laughs> as Conrad Thompson from from uh, July, from July, as Conrad Thompson from Alabama calls it. Anyway, patreon.com slash jporks, right? Okay, and it brings you to the Least Coast Radio, for the least heard voices, Patreon page, and there are three tiers that you can join. Levels where you can become a Least Coast Radiohead. 
And, you know, the tier... Listen, just take a look at it. You can even hit me up. I'm probably going to edit the tiers to do different content. You know what I'm saying? Like, right now, tier one says something about a bonus group and stuff like that. That'll be included. But also, tier one is also going to get artwork. Personal artwork from me, Jay Porks, monthly. Every time you hit yes on that Patreon for that month, you will be receiving another piece of personalized artwork. I'm not Picasso, but it's cool to have things. And it's cool to make friends. Also, there's two other tiers. The top tier gets you a phone call a week. That's not going to change. The prices might. They might go down a little bit, and I might edit it if you're allowed to edit tiers on Patreon. Though, I'll probably squeeze in a Patreon commercial in the midst of this podcast here, because I got two things to cover that I don't want to waste time on. on the Well, that I'm going to be wasting time on on the J Porks podcast on Monday. But nevertheless... There was... Well, first of all, let's do a correction. Earlier this week on Dies in Your House, or the Jay Porks podcast, I'm actually not sure which one it was. When referring to NAFTA, I called it NATO, and I understand that those are two entirely different things. That's what happens when I go off notes, and I have a list of bullet points in front of me, plus when I have the television on in front of me, and they were... I was talking about NAFTA as Trump was bashing NATO, so I was reading off the television and I got a little mixed up, so... Excuse me for that. My mistake. I apologize. Uh, nicely produced. And all the drops you want to use in there is what it is. But I actually do know what they are. Don't worry. That's not what we're talking about here today. We'll talk about NATO in a little bit. Peter Struck. Or Stroke. Or Strozak. Or why did every member of this committee have to pronounce his name differently? Can we get some regular order? I just, I just want to know. Like, when I see Jerry Nadler yelling across the table, that just reminds me of so many Passovers, man. No, but in all seriousness, they call in Peter Stroke, this FBI agent, one of the top FBI agents because he's worked on many counterintelligence investigations, including the one into the Trump campaign, which is ongoing, and the Mueller probe, which is ongoing. Real investigations with real results. If you need an example of uh, a phantom investigation with no results, I would point you to Trey Gowdy's Benghazi investigation, which resulted in zero indictments, zero guilty pleas, zero people being told that they broke the law. So there's that. We Right now, we have five guilty pleas. We have indictments. We have indictments of corporations, of oligarch-run companies in Russia with sanctions right so we have all all of that all of that and we're focused on Peter Stroke's text messages to his girlfriend yeah he was cheating on his wife that doesn't make him un-American and the I, there was an IG re- first of all there's an IG report that came out that says that the text messages and Peter Stroke's decision making showed no bias they could not find bias in any decisions that he made having to do with anything over at the FBI so right there end of story your story is over your republican deep state conspiracy is gone you thought until they actually had this guy in for what was, I believe, 10 hours of testimony. Riveting stuff. I mean, riveting television. But at the same time, whenever you buy something, and you pay taxes, and you pay the government money, that money was being used not for things that matter, not for helping children being reunited with their parents. No, no, no. Not for that. Not for things like healthcare, things like education. No, no, no. Your tax money was being spent. So Trey Gowdy and Jim Jordan, who I'll get into in one second, can grill an FBI agent who did everything right besides 
use his work phone for personal texts. Alright, maybe you shouldn't have done that. But at the same time, in the context of it, he was trying to keep those texts from his wife. So of course he would use his FBI phone. That, that would be the most co covert thing to do. If you were going to cheat on your wife. And one of these congressmen brought up, oh, I wonder you sit there with your body language and your smiles. And how many times did you lie to your wife at night? Can we get regular order? Point of order here. Can everybody just chill? This guy's totally out of line. And like Stroke said, for you to bring... For, for you, for that person, I, th I think it was representative of Texas, for you to bring that up in this setting shows more about your character than it does mine, sir. Stroke was in the army. Trump dodged the draft claiming bone spurs in his foot. I mean, you have one guy who's an American hero. Essentially, I mean, listen, when you fight for your country and then you work for the FBI, listen, I'm a Democrat, I'm pro I'm a liberal, I do things that would probably get me arrested by the FBI. At the same time, they're doing their job and they're protecting this country, like that's what they're doing. And yeah, I fight for certain laws to get changed so that I will no longer be breaking laws that law enforcement, the FBI, the DEA, whatever, would be interested in me breaking. So yeah, I fight for policy change. But at the same time, you know, these guys are, for the most part, the FBI trying to protect this nation. And again, like Stroke said, Stroke said, this whole hearing is a win for Vladimir Putin. It's a notch in his belt. It is a victory. And the Republicans gave him that. And let me just say one, let me just... Jim Jordan, okay? Rapper, the gentleman from Ohio. Let me just say this. With all, with... 11 Ohio State wrestlers have come out and said that they were not only molested by coaches and or I want to say the health staff on the team, the team doctors. Team doctors or coaches, right? And or. At least 11, thousands of people, hundreds, hundreds of thousands, hundreds and thousands of people got molested at this school, right? And Jim Jordan has been accused of not molesting boys. Let's just not... Well, not yet, anyway. Jim Jordan has been accused of these 11... 11 wrestlers have come out and said, I told Jim Jordan about this, and nothing happened. Now, I'm not saying that this... Well, I am saying hashtag Jim Jordan needs to resign. Hashtag resign Jim Jordan. Hashtag Jim Jordan resign. Whichever the popular hashtag we're going with for that is. He does need to resign, but also there needs to be in a not def, not defense from Republican leadership, not people standing behind him in the GOP. There needs to be people in the GOP calling for an investigation. Because again, if you did nothing wrong, then I don't see why there would be any problem with an investigation. Again, somebody want I always use the child porn analogy because it's true. If somebody wanted to investigate me for child pornography. I would not fight that investigation. I would hand them all my stuff. Because I know that I've never had any, you know, child pornography going on. So why would I be, what would I, would I be afraid that they would uncover something that's not there? How can that be? What level of paranoia do you have to be to think that everyone is out to get you? And by the way, in the words of Kurt Cobain, just because you're paranoid don't mean they're not after you. Here's a commercial about Patreon. And then we're coming back with more dies in your house. Hey yo, J Porks here, back to record my own commercials. And here's the deal. 
You may have heard me complaining on today's podcast or a previous podcast about suffering through a summer of unemployment. Well, we have a we have a fix for that, and it is called Patreon. That's right. Least Coast Radio now has a Patreon page. And all you need to do is go to patreon.com slash jporks. And there are three tiers that you can subscribe to. Three tiers you can join to become a member of Least Coast Radio, of the, of the Least Coast Radio community, of Porks Nation. You'll even have a chance to pick the name and all that stuff. And we are talking, we are not offering just thank yous and shout outs. We got bonus content. There is even a tier where you are able to talk to me on the phone every week. And we will go over what is happening in our country. And you could personally talk to me, Jay Pork. Personal interactions. There's a tier where there's a group. You can join a group and we could, it, you could affect where the podcast goes that week. I need a community. I need help. Not necessarily money, but I need people to be helping me out. So therefore, that's why I created a Least Coast Radio Patreon. Not to be confused with a GoFundMe or a Kickstarter. This is not me with my handout. I have bonus content. Bonus, bonus, bonus content to offer you. I have tons of it. I have tons of time, and I want to give it to you. All you need to do is join join us on Patreon. Become a Patreon. Patreon.com slash jporks. Look for the Least Coast Radio Patreon page. You'll see me. You'll see me in, with a microphone and dies in my house. Dies in the house next to the name. You'll see that. So just go hit us on Patreon. You will get a thank you. I will. Res- I will know that, and you will get on. You will have a lot to do with what goes down on the J Porks podcast and everything concerned with Least Coast Radio. It's going to be a big year for us. 2018. Let's get it done. And we are back here on Dies in Your House. In your house. I always have to say it like that when the beat first starts. Okay, so really quick. Like, first of all, what are we looking at? What are we looking at on Monday? You're probably saying to yourself, Jay, you know, this is most of the news, right? This is all we're gonna This is all we're gonna need for this week. No, 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 no. We gotta talk about Manafort and his prison conditions. And the latest ruling on where he needs to sleep at night. And we might listen to a little lead belly when we do that. We need to talk about more latest in the Mueller probe. There is a closed door testimony from Peter Stroke that Democrats say they're going to release because the chairman can't cite the rules. <laughs> That's another thing that happened during this hearing yesterday was that, during this hearing on Thursday was that Jerry Nadler, the ranking Democrat, you know, because he's in, he's next to the chairman and he's next to Trey Gowdy, he was saying, Mr. Chairman, can you cite the rule that says that, you know, such and such? And they're like, no, I can't. Well, no, you can't. You can't cite the procedure, the num. I mean, again, this is like Ted Cruz not knowing the Constitution. I mean, being a constitutionalist, but not having read up on the Constitution. That's literally like if Trump said, well, you know, I'm not really a good negotiator. I mean, that he builds himself on being that. He's not, but he pretends he is. And if you want to see lies, today's Friday, you're going to get, it's a lying Friday. It's Friday the 13th. But don't adjust your television sets because the lies are turned up to 1100 today. Because this morning, I watched for an hour. I watched Donald Trump next to Theresa May and I just watched him lie and lie and lie and lie. One example would be, there was an interview with The Sun. By the way, don't buy The Sun. I... The Don't Buy The Sun is some... It's, it's, a, it's a UK football soccer joke i don't really get it but i know that if i say don't buy the sun people in in europe will understand what i'm saying don't buy the sun you wankers no but seriously there was an interview with the sun where he trashed Theresa may and then he said no i said nice things about her yeah but it's on tape though like it's recorded again again so i mean of course we're gonna get those tapes 
And you're just going to see complete lies. And, you know, and he doesn't, doesn't take questions from CNN. Because he said they're, quote, fake news. Again, let me remind you that there were reporters killed. They were gunned down and murdered in their newsroom. Because a fascist demagogue wannabe despot orange cunt monkey decided to deem any news that frames him in a realistic light to be fake and to be enemies of the people. I'm using air quotes here. These are fascist tendencies from people that like fascism. And right now, this guy is on his way to Helsinki to have a meeting with Vladimir Putin with no Americans nobody else besides those two in the room if you think that's okay you need to get your head checked Jay Porks dies in your house